three words. Pop. King. Paul. Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa's Toy Shop. I'm your boy Tony, aka Papa. I'm here to do some uh, more mystery boxes. I got a really special one today. I was able to actually snag one of Pop King Paul's $250 mystery box as a guaranteed value of $225. So the most I can do is, or they actually say the least I can do is, you know, lose 25 bucks. So, or there's that chance that I could hit something really big. So we'll just have to see what that shows up here in a few minutes. But first I got another uh, mystery box I'm gonna do real quick. Um, this one right here, it says Pop Culture Mystery Box. I got this from the um, oh Niagara Falls Comic Con website. Um, never even heard of it. I was just playing around one night looking for mystery boxes and happened to come across this one. So I thought, what the hell, let's go ahead and see what's in it. So, all right, go ahead and open her up. I have not opened this box, I promise you. I just took it out of the outer box because I wasn't sure what it was when it showed up because it just had a regular name on it. So um, it has, I have not looked in this. I have no idea what's in it. So we're going to set it off to the side here so I can't see. And we'll just feel around. All right, looks like the first thing I've got is a book. And it looks like it is the World of Archie Convention exclusive. Uh, Niagara Falls Comic Con. It's it's kind of tore up, a little rough shape down here. Um, looks like it's been roughed around quite a bit, but that's still pretty cool. I mean, I remember the old Archie comics when I was a kid. I mean, it was still a little before my time, but I, I still came across them and read them when I was a when I was a kid. So, all right, that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got next. Uh, let's see what this is. All right, we have in. Ushis. It looks like it's a uh, um, WWE uh, little figures. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on because I can't see what that <laughs> what it says on it for sure. Uh, looks like it has a bunch of different characters on the back. You can see right there, and it says it contains one Ushi pencil topper, and they have different ones. Looks like they have some chases and some ultra rares and stuff. So. Let's just open it up and see what we got in here. Doesn't have a spot to tear for some reason, so we'll just cut it open. Right, and we have, uh, looks like, I believe that's Stone Cold. I'm not positive. Even with my glasses on, it's still, I don't know, it says Brock something i'm not a wwe fan i last time i watched wrestling it was hulk hogan andre the giant junkyard dog you know those guys so i'm not real sure who that is so well, still kind of cool though if you like like uh, wwe next um i feel that there is two funko pops in here, so that's pretty cool we'll do those last but all right we have a button it is a Jason Voorhees, his uh, hockey mask. It's pretty cool. Let's see what we got next. Trying to get all the little stuff first out of the box before I big, get any of the bigger stuff. So, all right, we'll pull out whatever this is. It says roll with it. Uh, it's a BB-8, but I'm not real entirely sure what this is. It's a little BB-8 character. It's got a little warning tag on the back. Let's just go ahead and open it up and see what this is. It has the little warning booklet but doesn't really say much about it. So it doesn't open. Oh okay I see. It looks like it's some type of some type of light or something. Oh wait, there's the thing to pull for the... I'm sure that's on the off, so it can kind of get a better surprise. Where you can pull that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a little BB-8 light. Uh, it looks like a candle. That's kind of cool. Huh. 
has that setting and then there's that setting where it changes colors so I don't know if you can really see that I may try to take a video of it in the dark so you can see it a little bit better but it does it changes colors so huh. that's actually pretty cool I've never seen anything like that before huh all right there's that then we'll try to do the we'll do the Funko Pops last let's pull this stuff out here All right, looks like we have a Star Wars Shattered Empire graphic novel. It has, you know, on the inside, you know, basically it's a graphic novel. So, hmm. that's actually kind of cool. Looked to see, was looking to see if it had like a price tag on it somewhere that showed. Shows it as a collector's edition, so that's pretty awesome. And then I'm going to guess this is a comic book of some sort. I'll let you guys see first. And what have we got? We have Robocop, Citizen's Arrest number one from Boom Studios. Huh, pretty cool. I don't really know a whole lot about comic books. I'm I'm not really into them. I used to read them as a kid, but I have no idea what they what they're worth nowadays. Um, I'm going to look these up later, and if I can find some values on them, I'll make sure I put it on the screen so you guys can see that. All right. Next thing we got is we have the two Funko Pops. I'm not sure which one's which or what one's better value or whatever. So we're just going to pull them out. Let's see if I can figure out which way is the up. I think that is, and we have. Looks like Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and he's holding Scabbers. So this is one of the older ones. It's not the, you know, the the new stuff. I mean, it's still a a second, you know, or third line. It's not the originals, but it is still an older one. Can't really tell the date on it because it doesn't have the sticker on the bottom. It's too new for that. So box looks in excellent shape it's been taped shut I don't know if they did that or if it came from the factory like that I'm not real sure so all right we have Ron Weasley and the other one in the box that should be the right way up and looks like we have first appearance of Marvel Girl all right, that's kind of cool. I haven't seen that one uh, yet. I, I know it's out there, but I haven't actually seen one in person yet. It's in really, really good shape. It's just a tiny little, I don't even really call it a dent. It's just kind of more of a little whatever to it. It's got a little bit of stuff on the on the window, which that's easily cleaned off. So that's pretty cool. Not too bad. See if there's anything else in there. Oh, well, yeah, there is in the very bottom of the box and we have a signed I don't know if this is really a photograph or not but this is a sign uh, from Child's Play and I'm not exactly sure I think that signature is from the the child actor here I'm not up on my actors I, I know a lot more recent stuff I don't really know a lot of actors from earlier films uh, it does have a certificate of authenticity. The authenticity of this autograph is unconditionally guaranteed by the Niagara Falls Comic Con. So, hell, I take that at its word. I mean, it's not Beckett and it's not JSA, but hey, I think that's good enough for me. So, that's really pretty cool. It says, looks, it says Andy uh, underneath it. So, I think that was what the boy's name was. It's been so long since I've seen child's play and it was kind of corny for me but it was still pretty cool so that's a really good mystery box um, I don't think I paid more than like thirty dollars for it so that's really good um, not real crazy about their protective sleeve but hey it worked it's it's not tore up or anything so yeah I guess it is a, pho a photograph because I can see the Fuji film on the back of it so it's not it's not just a you know paper print or anything so that's really pretty cool huh and that's it for the box 
so let's take a quick look. I'll look up the all these other smaller things later and see what kind of value I had on them. Move this other stuff out of the way. I'll go ahead and check what the Funko Pops value on them is. I would imagine they're not really high value because they're, you know, they're nothing really super special. So let me uh, just pull up, pull up the old trusty Funko app just because it's easy to scan. Um, I haven't really messed with uh, whatnot yet, so I haven't tried theirs. But I'm just going to stick with with what I know for right now. All right, and we have Marvel Girl. And of course, I didn't think it'd be worth a lot. It is worth four dollars. That's a 2019 release and still showing available. All right, and good old Ron Weasley here. No, still not too bad. It is Ron Weasley with Scabbers, uh, release of 2017. So it is a little bit older. I mean, four years old. Uh, still shows available and has a trending value of ten dollars right now so not too bad not too bad at all i really like this mystery box i may have to see if this is something they just had one time or if this is uh, something i can get again because uh, i really enjoyed this one had a lot of good little stuff and i especially like this thing i think this is cool i may just keep that or actually my daughter's a really big fan of bb8 so i may end up giving it to her so we'll see let's we'll set these here off to the side Actually, I set them over here. I want a nice, wide open, clean spot right here so you guys can see what I got next. What we have is um, a $250 mystery box from Pop King Paul. I don't know how I did it. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time and was able to grab uh, this. I've gotten two from him before. The ones I got were this like a little low dollar ones and I didn't get anything fabulous out of it but it was still kind of cool I actually got to grab one from him uh, he's basically the best in the business all he does is mystery boxes and everything he puts out is just quality I mean it's just everything I've seen from uh, watching tons of people open uh, Pop King Paul mystery boxes and I'm always sitting there saying one of these days I'm going to get one well I got one uh, it has a guaranteed value of $225 um, I do know about this one because I, I made sure I remembered about this one because uh, I was excited about getting this one. Um, I have not opened it. You can see the tape has just come apart, but it is still sealed. So I have no idea what's in here. Um, it's got some weight to it. I mean, it's, it's actually pretty heavy. So I'm hoping that's a good sign saying that there's going to be an armor stack in there. So I guess we'll just open it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pop King Paul, $250 mystery box. I don't know if he's got it in the sorters. Looks like I've got four pops in there. Peel back the plastic. And we have, there's a stack, but it's one of those, well, no, is it? No, it doesn't feel like it's, uh, it's not uh, one of like the R2-D2s or anything like that because I don't feel uh, plastic wrap around it. So we do have a stack. So as everybody likes to say, tap that stack. <laughs> I have one in a pop protector. We've got a second one in a pop protector and a third one in a pop protector. So. And of course, we're going to do the uh, hard stack last. So let's take a look and see what we got. We'll start off with this one right here. And our first pop is, it says American Psycho. It's the um, Patrick Bateman. Oh, and it's actually, it's the Chase. So that's really pretty good. It doesn't bode well for the box, though. Um, generally, if you get a bunch of really just low value pops, that means your big hit's going to be a big hit. But it looks like I'll still probably get, at least get my value back out of it. Because this is a, I think I want to say it's around, you know, 50, 60 bucks right now. So, there we go. Patrick Bateman. Excellent shape, as always, from Pop King Paul. So, there we go. Patrick Bateman Chase. Next. 
we have looks like Patrick Mahomes and this is the one with the white jersey cool this is the more valuable of the of the ones uh, he has the one with his red jersey and there's also uh, his one where he's passing and I think there might even be another one I'm not real positive I'm not a uh, um, sports fan uh, I only know about it because I live in Missouri Kansas City Chiefs it's on the news everywhere you can't even you can't swing a dead cat without hitting something about the Kansas City Chiefs around here so all right that's pretty cool I know he's got a little bit of value I know he was trending over a hundred dollars at one time I don't really think it's that right now because obviously they didn't win the Super Bowl this year so box condition looks excellent uh, this one's in a pop shield pop protector which are the ones that I prefer um, I do sell them as well if anybody is interested in them I could sell you as little as one or I could sell you 50 you know it's whatever you want um, then this one's in a vaulted vinyl uh, pop protector which they're very good too I just haven't done a lot with them because I I prefer the uh, seven bucks a pop ones so there we go number three we have Huey it says Mickey Mouse and friends on the back and this is the uh, Funko Shop exclusive Halloween one and it is uh, Huey Duck and Huey Dewey and Louie really good pop this one looks in excellent shape as well also in a seven bucks a pop pop protector so that's pretty good all right now we're coming down to what what we've been waiting for so i don't feel the plastic around the outside of it so that's it's not one of those you know pre-packed stacks so all right let's take a look and see what we got and looks like we have pain and panic all right not too bad it's the 2018 summer uh, convention exclusive it's in just a regular pop protector um, I don't know a lot about this one but I think this one actually holds some value I don't know if the uh, the shared sticker holds as much value of course as the con but uh, pretty cool box condition looks excellent just without taking it out of the protector all right there we go let's check and see what kind of value we got from pop king paul get that out of the way all right back to the funko app all right we'll start with huey and huey is uh, of course it's DuckTales although it says this Mickey it says Mickey Mouse and friends on it but on the app it says DuckTales uh, it's from 2019 still shows available it's a Funko Shop exclusive with a trending value of $27 let's move these back alright next I guess I should uh, get to my calculator so I can keep track of how much uh, how much I'm getting off the box I don't have to kind of do it in my head so uh, next we'll go ahead and do Patrick Bateman and Patrick Bateman shows uh, it's the bloody chase released in 2020 still shows available has a trending value of $40 so we're gonna add 40 here and then we have Patrick Mahomes uh, the second I guess because it says Patrick Mahomes the second but anyway we'll go ahead and check this guy out and see what he shows he is showing a value of $41 released in 2019 and still available so add $41 All right, right now I'm at $108 for, the, for these three pops. So this one right ha here has to be worth at least $117. Now, he guaranteed the value at the time that it was shipped. I've had this for probably a month. I don't remember exactly when I got it. So prices could have changed, So, but I don't think it will fluctuate too much. These are not high demand uh, scares pops anything that somebody's looking really looking for so I, I doubt the value has changed a ton on them so all right last one we have panic and pain 
from the movie Hercules. is the Hercules 2-pack, Panic and Pain. That is the, okay, that's the con sticker. So let me pull up Pop Price Guide. Sometimes the Funko app, it doesn't differentiate between the two. It just shows um, one price and that's for the con stickers. So we'll look up uh, Panic and Pain. Pull that up. I really don't like the new format that uh, they put on Pop Price Guide, uh, where you have to scroll all the way up because they put all this extra crap in there. I'm not real, not real fan of it, but so, oh, well, that's not too bad. Um, it shows it is a uh, 2018 the SDCC, the San Diego Comic Con uh, exclusive. Um, shows that it is uh, doesn't show if it's available or whatever <laughs> anyway shows it was made from uh, July of 2018 shows that uh, the, the the con sticker one shows $140 value so I'm thinking oh great this is going to not be great but this one is still showing at $135 so that's a pretty good return so we're going to add oops we're going to add $135, and we come up with a total of $243. So I lost $7 plus a little on the shipping, so that's still not too bad, though. I had a lot of fun opening a Pop King Paul mystery box. Uh, I did get over guaranteed value, got under what I paid for it, though, so not too bad. And besides, Pop Price Guide is just a, a guide, hence the name Pop Price Guide. But anyway... Uh, so they could, these could sell for more or sell for less. It just depends on what the trending value is. It does pull the value off of trending sales from uh, eBay. Uh, and I think there's another place it pulls from too. So it should give a relatively close to a value. But it just depends on who's looking for it. So, But I do have these available if anybody happens to be looking for them. Um, I tend to sell all my pops right at PPG. It just makes it fair. You know, PPG says it's... $20 I'm not going to sell it for 50 you know it just doesn't make sense you know because of course nobody's going to buy it then. but I tend to sell all my stuff about the same uh, around PPG so anyway there they are got uh, the the uh, Niagara Falls Comic Con Funko Pops here with all the extra stuff I I think that was a great value for that box I said I'm going to look and see if I can buy that one again and then of course Pop King Paul always comes through always has the good stuff I just wish I could have got the top hit though <laughs> but so does everybody so anyway um, it's been a good uh, good video here I really enjoyed making it I uh, hope you guys watched the video or liked watching the video if you did please give me that thumbs up it helps me uh, to know that you guys are liking uh, my videos and helps with my metrics and stuff like that so I'll show up for more people to be able to watch it uh, I'm still uh, waiting to get the uh, subscribers to be able to do the uh, giveaway for everybody uh, we're pretty close I'm at 80 subscribers right now uh, just need 20 more people so please uh, share this video get your friends to come over and and uh, become a subscriber they don't even have to watch the video if you don't want to if you can get your friends at least just to sign up as a subscriber that gives you a better chance at, at uh, getting a free pop so anyway there we go uh, if you, do, if you do happen to like my videos enough where you'd like to still keep seeing them, please hit that subscribe button uh, to where you can get to be a subscriber. Or like I said, just get your friends to subscribe so they don't even have to watch it. You know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all right, there we go. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day.